The news comes to you compliments of the National Bank of the Virgin Islands and Digicel, Cyril B. Romney Tartola Pier Park, Simply Secure, and NV Salon Spa Nail and Barbershops. Continued pledge of support for the judiciary and the BVI Bar Association are in order from Premier and Minister of Finance, Honorable Andrew A. Foy, and the Governor to the Virgin Islands, His Excellency John J. Rankin. We must make sure that the justice system continues the way it is independent, fair, and transparent, and that our people have an opportunity to continue to blossom. That's why I firmly believe in our jury system, I firmly believe in our judges, I firmly believe we have a good system that will continue to be strengthened, but we do have a system that brings fairness. I wish them all the best for this new uh, lawyer, even the Eastern Caribbean courts, and I want to thank them all, Chief Justice and all of them, for the great work they do. We continue to support them. We're working on the, um, the justice uh, halls of justice building. It's taking a little longer in the design phase than, phase than we anticipated, but we will come through with that project. Um, he, he, uh, in the not too distant future, it might not be this year for sure, but we should, for sure we put everything in motion with it to have it done uh, hopefully by next year and continue in the year after that. Well, the courts and the functioning of the courts in delivering justice is fundamental to uh, the territory, the good governance of the territory, and everyone who works here in the territory. Uh, and uh, as governor under the constitution, I have responsibility for uh, the courts and the independence of the judiciary. And we are blessed to have such a strong judiciary in a bar here uh, in the BVI. And so I'm pleased to be here to be joining them in this, in this prayer uh, for its opening. Uh, of course, I have a personal interest as well. I'm, I'm a lawyer by background uh, myself. And so I'm always keen to, to show my support for the, for the judiciary and, and the bar. But it's very important for people that they feel they have uh, effective justice in the territory. And I believe it's provided by the lawyers here. But we're having to adapt to the current situation like, like everybody else. So in, in COVID, we're seeking to ensure social distancing, uh, hearings by Zoom where, where possible, allowing people to safely operate. But we do need to uh, improve uh, the infrastructure uh, for the courts, uh, for the magistrates' courts in particular, as I hope further progress can be made in that area. But at the moment, the important thing is to be able to keep functioning safely, and I believe we are doing that. That was said as he responded to questions from JTV News this morning, January 11, 2021, shortly after attending a church service held at the New Testament Church of God International Worship Center, Bogus Bay, Tertula, at an activity marking the commencement of the 2022 law year of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Courts of Justice. The issues of law enforcement, crimes, and the security of the territory formed a part of that brief interview. I want to say that um, the, the court is, is the last resort. That's after someone is caught um, or if someone is arrested. Uh, but but uh, we want to say to our people of the Virgin Islands that it's going to take a holistic approach for us to cope crime. We have to make sure that at homes we continue to teach our children the strong principles of God and that's in our DNA as Virgin Islands, Virgin Islanders. We have to make sure that we also um, go and, and in our schools and, and strengthen the work of our teachers. And we have to also make sure we strengthen the work in our non-governmental organizations. All of that will be helping us to prevent crime from happening. Well, I, I know people in the community are concerned. Uh, whenever there is serious crime in the territory, whenever a murder occurs, whenever a, a life is lost, uh, and that is something which we should all seek to prevent and seek to help to, to tackle the underlying causes of crime and the risks, particularly I think for young people who may get caught up in criminal networks. I welcome the work that uh, the police are doing and have done in managing to bring uh, those to account, uh, look at the previous murder cases, the cold cases, help to solve those cases, and of course the, the drug seizures uh, and the guns have been able to seize and knives have been able to seize. And so my job is to support the, the police commissioner and the Royal Virgin Islands Police Service in, in, in carrying out that work. And then of course, uh, supporting a justice system which is fair, but brings those to account uh, appropriately and helps to keep, keep the community as a whole safe. We all have to play a part in that. It's not just for the police, it's not just for lawyers. The whole community has to come together to help to keep 
uh, people and young people in particular away from crime and the harm it can do for them. On other matters that are key as the Virgin Islands party government leads the territory into this new year, Premier Foy commented. Uh, we have a certain time on the earth and we have to make sure during that time on the earth we go through what the places here have to We are trying times. We have to deal with challenges uh, from COVID, which is challenging the whole world, it's challenging economies, it's challenging families, it's challenging finances. But we have to continue to trust in it and we have to continue to be innovative. We also deal, of course, you know, with the whole COI, which we always tell the government that we, we truly, um, you know, support a transparent, independent commission of inquiry that we need a just outcome. We, we definitely were concerned about what we came about. And in a time when um, our people, especially the public officers, have to, to deal with so many things and still produce from COI, we thought it was a little um, uh, questionable about the timing. Uh, given that in the UK they said that they will be there as long because it has been quite a load for, for the people to, to deal with in public service uh, in the UK, given all that they had to deal with, uh, with COVID. But it is what it is. Um, what we truly believe is that our government has been in office and we have completed many things to help strengthen this territory for whatever direction it takes in the future, uh, whether it deals with a new type of partnership or it moves towards our self-determination as up to the people. Our job as representative is to prepare the people. We pass on many good legislations um, for good governance and also to strengthen the, the work of the, the, the economy, strengthen the economy itself. So we continue to do so. We are glad that at the end of the year we were able to pass integrity in public life. It's very crucial. Uh, we did that on our own. No one forced us to. No, no one um, pushed us to. We are doing these things, including upcoming Freedom of Information Act, including um, upcoming Human Rights Commission, that's um, upcoming with the Register of Interest uh, amendment and many other amendments. We also, uh, right now, we're going to hold some meetings individually with banks so that we can see what the challenges our banks have and also to see how they can help our people even more during these challenges of COVID-19 and with insurance companies. And we're also looking at legislation to help um, bring a balance between our financial institutions and our people during pandemics, catastrophic events, and also insurance companies. So we have a lot of work in store to help the people of the Virgin Islands. Um, I just give a snapshot of it, but there's so many things that we continue to do that continue to strengthen the Virgin Islands. This um, uh, tourist season, we saw an increase in charter boats um, from all people getting into the charter industry and in the marine industry that came from us amending the um, cruising permit and the whole port permit that allows all locally registered vessels to operate much cheaper than international vessels. As a result, we have seen a lot of our people, especially our young people, making um, um, the move towards getting in that industry and making sure that their boat is registered, is insured, and doing many commercial trips and making quite a bit of money. Okay. in a legal way. So that policy has helped tremendously. We continue to do many more of that in 2022. If I could direct you, direct you back a little bit to the COI. Uh, we see recently where the governor has granted an extension to the time for which they are to submit the reports. There were some reasons that were given for, the, for that request. Uh, how, how did you respond to that? Well, we, we, our government give a release of, of, of what we thought about the reasons were given for the extension and that's after collaboration with the Attorney General and we stand by what we said we're not the um, fault for any delay but at the same time too um, we, we have not focused on that when it comes we will have to deal with it because there's so many things happening we thought that the timing for this was quite insensitive not that you have anything to hide you must be transparent in government you you must be make sure you're accountable but at the same time, when so many of our people are affected with COVID and the challenges governments have to face, we thought that the timing could have been adjusted a little um, uh, more uh, to a different time. But we have nothing to hide and whatever comes forth, we will deal with it. We have to make it a better BBI. But at the same time too, we have stated clearly um, our response to the reasoning. And it's not a back and forth, it's just that we don't share the same view of the delay where it was stated about the government um, contributing to some of the delays, the ministers, cabinet, etc. With this JTV News update, Kathy Richards. Hey, you. Put on some muscle? I did. No.
we know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official Bank of Paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Our reliance on digital systems has opened new vulnerabilities to sophisticated cyber attacks. Simply Secure's security management solution helps overcome these challenges. Our service includes 24-7, 360-degree protection for all computers and servers with automatic restoration, security audits, and penetration testing. Don't wait for disaster to strike. Contact us at info at simplysecuregroup.com.